Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all having a great day so far. In this video, I want to do a super quick update on my Heat Biologics video. My order was executed, so I'm going to let you know what price I bought in at, as well as go over the recent news and rumors on Heat Biologics. And then I'm going to get into the charts and show you what I see in them right now. If you're new to the channel, I like to find short-term and long-term trading and investing opportunities in lower price stocks. I like to find undervalued, underappreciated stocks with high growth potential, as well as talk about all other things finance related. If that's something that interests you, please subscribe so you don't miss any future trading and investing ideas. And also, I am not a financial advisor, so please do your own research before investing in these stocks. Now, in recent news, The Motley Fool put out an article with their theory on why Heat Biologics, Innovio Pharmaceuticals, and Novavax have been under pressure as of late. They are saying the reason is that there is a rumor the Trump administration may greenlight AstraZeneca's experimental COVID vaccine by as early as next month. And if that approval happens, it will likely occur through a mechanism called the EUA, or Emergency Use Authorization. The article also said the FDA announced the EUA of the convalescent plasma therapy, which seems to be concerning to investors in vaccine companies like Heat Biologics because it suggests they aren't quite as far along as AstraZeneca in terms of clinical development. To put it simply, AstraZeneca may leapfrog all of them through the use of this EUA. Now it's been said Heat Biologics has released some of the most promising preclinical data for its heat shock protein-based COVID vaccine, but they are behind in testing because an early stage trial isn't scheduled to start until early next year, while Inovio is expected to initiate phase two and phase three before year's end for their vaccine, and Novavax has just completed phase one for theirs. So Heat Biologics at the moment is a little behind the eight ball. AstraZeneca has a good chance of beating all of them if these rumors are true, of course. Okay, right here I have a current daily chart of AstraZeneca. And when this rumor came out about five or six days ago, you can see the share price has done pretty much nothing. In fact, it's been trending lower ever since. It seems like if there was any validity to that rumor, the share price would have been trending higher by now. So I wonder if that news was put out just to drive down the share prices of those other players in the vaccine market. Because... If we check out some of the other ones, let's go to Inovio. You can see it's been trending down ever since as well. And then if we go to Novavax, we have the same thing, trending down. So it kind of makes me wonder if somebody was just short these, these other smaller players and they put out that rumor just to knock them down. Now, if I bring up the daily chart of Heat Biologics, you can see HTBX has been trending down the last several days as well. Now, this is the box that I previously drew where I thought Heat Biologics was going to find support. And it's still hanging around in that area. Let me get rid of that box real quick. But if I zoom in a little bit, I'll show you where I bought. I bought this day right here. Let's see if I can get this drawing tool to work maybe. I bought this day right here. I bought 500 shares at $1.34. And the next day, it immediately went lower. But it hit a floor of $1.09 and then started to trend up. Now, two days later, it gapped up big right at the 50-day simple moving average and hit that like a brick wall and turned around right away. Now, I thought that there was going to be plenty of buying pressure in this area, enough to send it through that that moving average and a little bit higher but right then was about when that rumor came out and it looks like um, HTBX has been trending down ever since but the good news is let me get rid of this if I zoom into the 15 minute chart you can see since that low HTBX has pretty much been going sideways so it looks like it's starting to carve out a bottom now, if it can hold this area and get above this green box, I think we got a great chance it's going to start trending higher. But if it if it breaks below a dollar ten and stays there, we could be in big trouble. So uh, HTBX was looking pretty good, but uh, gosh darn it, that news uh, came out at exactly the wrong time as it was starting to trend higher. But the pattern is still going sideways, and that's very constructive. So I am optimistic. 
that we can keep going sideways maybe for a little bit longer and then pop above this green box and start a new uptrend. All right, folks, those are my current thoughts on Heat Biologics. I just wanted to let you know where I bought in at and what the charts look like at the moment. Please let me know in the comments if you have any different thoughts on the charts or if you have anything else to say on Heat Biologics. Please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, take care, everybody.